Hey guys, my name is Sherbin, and for this week during BBS, I will be leading the cooking segment for you guys. I know this pandemic is very unexpected, but I hope you guys are all staying safe, practicing social distancing, and having fun with your family and siblings. So this week we'll be making a lot of amazing snacks, and I hope you guys enjoy making it and have fun eating it. So today, do you guys want to know the dessert for today? The dessert is going to be chocolate ice cream. I know, like chocolate ice cream. I love ice cream and I know you guys will love ice cream as well. Like who says no to ice cream? So the three things we need is heavy whipping cream, sweet condensed milk, and unsweetened cocoa powder. So in a mixing bowl, just pour in one can of sweetened condensed milk. Just pour it out and then two and a half cups of heavy whipping cream. And then we just mix it. You mix till you have stiff peaks and I'll show you later on how you get stiff peaks, but you continuously start mixing it for five minutes. So, and you keep increasing the speed about every two minutes, and yeah. So, after 10 minutes of using the hand mixer and mixing it for about 10 minutes, your guys, you guys will get like almost this kind of a thick consistency and after that you will add the unsweetened cocoa powder and just mix it in and once it's fully mixed in we just have to put it in the freezer for about a couple of hours and after that, it is, it'll be good to go. So after you're done putting in the unsweetened cocoa powder and you mix, once it's fully mixed together, put it, oh, yeah, the ice cream in a Tupperware and cover it and place it in the freezer for about three to four hours until it's fully solid. Then you can take it out and eat it. So this is what the ice cream looks like. It doesn't look the prettiest, but it's gonna taste really good. Frozen. It is so good. It's the most ice cream. Welcome back guys. I hope you loved yesterday's ice cream. Today we're gonna be making cinnamon donut holes. I don't know if you guys have ever been to Dunkin' Donuts, but they sell mini donut balls, which is what we're gonna be making today. The ingredients you're gonna need are refrigerated biscuits, cinnamon, and sugar, and also butter. So before you guys start making the donut balls and before you start getting into everything, start off by preheating the oven at 350 degrees, and then, then we'll, um, take the briskets out of the, the can and separate them. And then, once we take it out of the can, we cut each biscuit into four s small pieces and then make it into a ball. So after each piece is shaped into a ball, before we even dip it into the mixture, I first will uh, spray the pan. It doesn't matter what size of pan, what size of pan is, as long as everything fits in there, it'll be okay. And you can spray with cooking spray or butter. So you'll take the ball and dip it into the butter mixture and, ten and then into the cinnamon and sugar mixture. So this is six tablespoons of butter and this is one half cup of sugar and two tablespoons of cinnamon mixed together in this bowl. 
So you take one ball, you dip it in. You can use a fork or your hand, it doesn't matter. And then you just mix it with butter. Just cover everything with butter. Yeah, it's better using it your hand. And then you just place it into the pan like this. And then you'll keep doing that till everything is in there. You might have to move some around only because not everything fits all at once. Sometimes it might not fit, so just have to move it around so it'll all fit, but it's gonna be okay. So now you're gonna put this in the oven for, it's gonna be 355 degrees for about 30 to 35 minutes. In between, you might have to check once it's done, because sometimes the price may vary, the temper, the time may vary. So yeah, you always have an oven mitt. You have to be careful. So now, since all the donuts are dipped into the butter and the mixture, you put it in the oven for 355 degrees at maybe the time would be around 30 to 35 minutes. The time could change depending on how well it's done, but 30 to 35 minutes will be good.